What's up, fam? It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood. And we're back on the IE Network. This is the Heaven Hollywood Report. And let's get to it. Shout out to my sponsor. In case you didn't know, that's icydk.blog. Make sure you check them out on all mobile devices in the World Wide Web. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. And that is Heaven Hollywood underscore Clark. That's Heaven Hollywood underscore, underscore Clark. Let's go. So we're going to get it started off with your boy, Little Uzi Vert, and the success of the Pink Tape. And it looks as though it will be the first rap album to go number one in 2023. Yay! Yay, Uzi! Yay, Uzi! So to answer the question, if he still got it, Little Uzi is suspected to go number one. So shout out to Uzi. His first week sales, a lot of people was asking me about. Currently projected, he's going to do between 200K and 235K in the first week. Y'all better start play, stop playing with little man. Lil Uzi showing, man, that he got that, you know, that core fan base that's going to stay with him and rock. So, congratulations out, goes out to little Uzi. And last night, Missy Elliott. Shut down the Essence Awards. She, it looked like a totally different show when Missy came on there, didn't it? She put on a show that can rival some of the Super Bowl performances over the years. And she did this at a festival. Now, imagine what she could have done with a Super Bowl budget. Imagine if Missy would have got a Super Bowl budget. The stuff she could have did and pulled off last night. Now, Missy ran through a barrage of her hits from her and from others that she wrote. Uh, and when I say we didn't even scratch the surface of hits from Missy, that's what I mean, right? We saw a series of clips also uh, from people congratulating Missy and saying what she means and meant to them and to the culture. And when I say it went from people of all ages and all generations of music, the Chloe Bailey, to the Lizzo's, to uh, people Missy's age and beyond. Jill Scott, you know, just they all sent their happy birthdays and congratulations to Missy. And many of them called her the queen. Now, this leads me to the question, is Missy Elliott the GOAT? Now, I've always said that was Nicki Minaj. and Not always, but maybe since about... 2016, 17, I said, yeah, that's it. Miss uh, Nicki Minaj is the GOAT. But after last night, <sighs> ugh, I'm sorry, Nicki. After last night, Missy Elliott is the greatest female rap artist of all time. That's, that's me, and I'll tell you why. Because artists consist of, you know, more than just picking up the mic and rapping. All right. Now, she may not have the best living. Or she may not be the best rapper. I just, you know, rapping is just OK. Rapping. She may not be a better rapper than Nicki Minaj. She's, she's in my opinion, she's not. She's not a better rapper than Nicki Minaj, but she is the greatest female rap artist of all time. So I'm going to call Missy where I was calling Nicki Minaj the queen of rap and the greatest female um, artist of all time. Of female rap artists of all time, I am going to say that is Missy Elliott. All right, so she is now the GOAT. Nikki still can be the queen, but she is the GOAT. Uh, she can't be touched in her verses due to all the other hits that she's written and the legendary features that she's had. The hip-hop community really showed how much they love and appreciate Missy and what she's done for the culture. Never a bad word said about her. That a lot of that has a lot to do with it. I think she's the GOAT, man. I, after last night, even though she lip synced probably half her show or maybe more than that, but she did do a, some uh, a lot of live ad libs and uh, breakthroughs because of so much movement she was doing. Let's keep in mind she's 52 with Graves' disease and still out there getting it done. Wow. First female rapper. First and only female rapper in the Songwriters Hall of Fame and first um, female rapper into the hit, uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. 
right? So shout out to Missy Elliott. Speaking of Nicki Minaj, um, Nicki Minaj's Barbie World with Ice Spice and Aqua is projected to debut at number seven on this week's Billboard Hot 100, matching the peak of, of Aqua's original one. Uh, Aqua's original Barbie Girl back in 1997. Now, Nicki Minaj also reaches a new all-time peak in monthly listeners. On Spotify, she's up to 53.9 million. And Nicki Minaj joins Ice Spice as the only female rapper with the most top 10 debuts on U.S. Spotify this year. And that is three each. Three for Nicki Minaj and three for Ice Spice. Nicki Minaj looks like she's going to break that um, if this song debuts you know, inside the top 10. So, shout out. Nicki Minaj, is all every song that she released with the exception of the Kim Petra song, and it may have been like one other song, but these other songs she's releasing, they're all going top 10. They're all debuting the top 10. Now, we don't know how long they're staying on there. I'm, I'm just really talking about where they're debuting. And she might have a chance with the song that she has with Uzi. She might have a chance for that also to debut top 10. So, Shout out to Nicki Minaj doing her thug dizzle. Moving on to Olivia Rodrigo. Earns the biggest streaming debut for any solo song on global Spotify this year. Number one at 9.76 million. Uh, Vampire. Uh, 9.79 million actually, excuse me. Um, that was more than where she goes at 8.23. Flowers by Miley Cyrus at 7.7. And Light Crazy 6.63. So Vampire becomes Olivia Rodrigo's biggest 24-hour debut on YouTube. Also, with over 9.5 million views in just 17 hours, surpassing Good For You. Now, Olivia Rodrigo opens up to Billboard about feeling the pressure to release a follow-up to Sour. Uh, she said, I mean, it's a lot of pressure. I got to a place throughout making the record where I really shifted my perspective from being like, oh, we have to make something that's going to impress everyone and beat the last one. I wasn't writing songs that I resonated with. So I had to shift my perspective into just trying to make music that I would like to hear on the radio. And once I did that, things started flowing a little easier. And Ice Spice... We're going to close it out with Ice Spice. Shout out again to Olivia Rodrigo. This album's going to be big, and you notice know this, this song's coming in at number one, and I don't know when it's going to leave, uh, you know, number one. It's going to be on there for a while. It's going to battle Flowers for a song in the year. Um, Ice Spice. Y'all better stop playing with Ice Spice. So Ice Spice was featured out in Ireland. All right, you'll see Ice Spice here. Now, a lot of people were saying, what the hell is Ice Spice doing in Ireland? In Ireland? And she's going to get humbled when she goes out there and nobody knows her songs. You know, there was a lot of Ice Spice haters saying, wait until she goes out there before they're going to be looking out like a chick with a head cut off. Well, just take a look. At, take a look at the people in Ireland when Ice Spice hit the stage. It's unbelievable. So, Ice Spice is out there. Fans are going nuts. And, you know, she turns around when all else fails. Twerk. <laughs> Ice Spice out there. They going to the frenzy. They know the records. So, Ice Spice is out there. And let me just go over really quickly this article, a live report from the Hot Press. And it says, the Bronx drill rapper, real name Isis Naja Gaston, has been all over our special media feed for the past 12 months and delivered a powerful Irish debut this afternoon. Ice Spice may have strangely er early slot, a strangely early slot at the Longitude Festival main stage, 3 p.m. But she wasn't holding anything back once she got here, and what we can only assume was her Irish debut 
Um, it says, we trawled the internet trying to find evidence of the Bronx, a rapper, ever stepping foot here to no avail. The New Yorker was every every inch the online sensation as she sashayed her way on stage. The 23-year-old first rose to prominence in late 2022. Okay, we know about all that. Uh, they also said that her, um, she listened to the likes of Jay-Z, 50 Cent, and Wu-Tang growing up. Man, they said, at Molly Park, Gangsta Boo and acting a smoochie, show off the breakout stars, mile a minute bars. Mile a minute bars. You know how they talk about ice bites? As she smiled at the young crowd, filming her every move on their iPhones, a baddie gonna get what she likes, she declares, leading into a collaboration with Pink Panther's Boys a Liar, another viral smash. Listen, man, you can say what you want about Ice Spice, but she is making the most of it, and it don't look like she's going nowhere no time soon. I, I can't believe I'm saying, should I do it, y'all? Should I do it? Should I get on this princess of rap bandwagon? Should I do it? I can't do it just yet. But <laughs> well, shout out to Ice Spice, man. She's out there doing it with them ABC bars. She found something that people like. And, of course, they're always going to look at her when she turns around. Look at the mini skirt she had on. Oh, my God. Whew. Anyway, it's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network. Please like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends, and we'll catch you on the next one.